Hello all, this is Dave Putz from JKP Holdings. We've had a bunch of questions recently about the time value calculator that we posted a while back and how to use it and what all these tabs down here mean. So we kind of simplified it um, and made one main sheet to kind of help you out, figure out things out. So I want to kind of briefly show you just how to do it um, so you guys can play with it. Again, you can copy the sheet into your own Google Drive. Uh, you probably can even download it to Excel if you need to. Um, but I want to show you how to use it. Uh, again, as long as nobody else is on it at the time, you can use it and then just delete the information as you need to. So just some quick things. Um, this just up here says it needs. Um, and here's your results. Uh, the areas you can edit are these check boxes and these values here. These is a kind of a key. These two values are always needed, even if they're zero, that's fine. And the yellow, which we'll show in a second, will be uh, popping up here to tell you when we need that information. If not, you'll get an error message. So um, up here is just what kind of needs for that equation. So in here, this is present value, PV, uh, what your purchase price would be based on the information um, it solves for purchase price. This solves for annual rate. So this is uh, to find out what the rate would be, what the return would be. Um, next one would be the number of payments. So if you had the, the value and you had the rate, um, how many payments would equal that? It's good for when you want to sell uh, a partial or whatnot. And um, lastly is solving for the monthly payment. So if you have a purchase price, um, someone put a, you know, if you want to give out a, you know, a certain dollar amount, certain rate, um, certain amount of payments, uh, what is a per, uh, payment per month? So that solves that. So what we do is we click on this checkbox here and things all kind of change. As you can see, um, it tells you to fill in the yellow because the errors, there is an error message here. So as you can see, this, this is not needed because it's white actually, and we need this here. So if we had a, just throwing out there, 300 month payments of this number, you're actually gonna see the result is your PV currently should be 24,660.22. Um, this is an equation that you can't edit, um, but it's behind the scenes. Your net annual rate, meaning what you receive in your pocket, including monthly servicing fees, comes here. And then your profit um, would be $23,000. So let me just change it over. So with this all said here, what you're trying to do is here is you're filling in these um, yellows. Um, the whites obviously don't really matter um, because once you click on this, it doesn't use a cell. Um, greens have to be always filled in, even if they're zeros. Um, the yellows are just tell you when we need it. Um, the month remaining, you could cheat and use this number over here if you'd like to um, by putting the next due date, which is the next contractual date the borrowers do when the next payment is technically due not last payment received and the maturity date so this just figures out what the uh date if formula so uh just quick and dirty feel free i will post the link to this uh google sheet that we have and uh, allow you guys to use it any questions let us know thanks